here I am sitting and waiting for the Aurora 3. I was sort of hoping to be able to shoot a video of it uh, tomorrow or on Saturday but I realize now that um, I'm not gonna make it since I haven't gotten my pre-order emails yet so I thought to myself what video can I make while waiting what other models have I gotten that are fairly new and uh, I came to realize that I haven't made any video yet of the Bark River Sandstorm. Um, so I thought that yeah, I can you know, take them with me and just uh, make a short overview video of, of sorts. So the Bark River Sandstorm here is a fighter knife. Uh, let's see if we can get a focus. Now I think we have some better focus. So it's um, 9.5 inches overall. The blade is 4.7 inches and I would estimate that the spine thickness is somewhere around 0.180 or 0.190. Uh, steel used for this knife is uh, CPM 154. Um, so there goes the specs. It is a hidden tang knife which could be good now that it's getting somewhat colder. Um, and the handle material did I mention it? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Uh, regardless, it's a uh, Ruby Frost Dragon uh, and synthetic, or is it like acrylic material? I'm not sure really how to um, get the best you know, view of it, if it's gonna be like direct sunlight or if it's better to, to look you know, at it in, in more of like, you know, shadow. Uh, yeah. This one has the, the standard guard like a, a double guard of sorts, although this top top guard isn't very you know very large. There is also a um, subhilt version made of this knife, which is this one. Although this knife is uh, slightly modified, uh, I decided to have the top guard removed, uh, which I think is it's just slightly more you know comfortable, and I, I like the looks of it. But I guess for a, for a fighting knife, you kind of want both, uh, you know, the top and and down guard here. So uh, then again, I'm not going to be in many knife fights with this one. I hope not much of a, a knife fighter guy, to be honest. Uh, but I, you know, I can appreciate uh, the different designs. So this one is, of course, uh, Pink G10. Uh, with no liners, since once again this is a hidden tang design. I decided to skip the mosaic pins because I thought it would look more sleek with just uh, the regular corby bolts, and that is not something that I I regret. Um, let's see if we can get this one in the shadows as well. So I'm not going to put it to much use right now because, well, there is not much use I can put it to. Uh, but it is, uh, no, it is a nice knife. I wasn't, you know, totally sold on it uh, when I got it, nor the, the standard version. But it, it grew on me and now I, I wish that I would have picked up one that I looked out in some really nice um, burl scales. But it was, of course, uh, purchased uh, quite some time ago. You have to be fast. Uh, I can also say that there's going to be a larger version of this one made. It's going to be called, or it's called, uh, the Smoke Jumper. It was released a few years ago. I'm not exactly sure when, but it uh, it has a a slightly longer handle as well as a longer blade length. So it's just an uh, you know sort of a larger uh, larger sandstorm, and I think that can be quite nice. I mean, this one fits my hand. You know fairly well, even with the with the subhilt here, but I I kind of wouldn't mind, you know, a, a slightly longer handle, and you know, a slightly longer blade would be, I guess, kind of nice as well, but um, not, you know, not not a problem at all. I just like, you know, it's nice with some some variation. So um, kind of wish I would have removed the top guard here as well. You know, I really want to. Yeah, you can of course do like this, but uh, yeah, it's just my preferences, sort of, doesn't matter much to be honest, but uh, yeah. 
so I think that is kind of it. I I wish I could have you know shoved the handle in you know better detail, but it's it has to be like perfect uh, conditions with a the light. Otherwise, you know you can't really see the depth of it. Let's see if I can go more in detail. I think maybe now we can get you know some of the details going on here with the handle. Let's get the focus back. 